podcast. Hey, everybody. Okay, we're all set. Got my chair. Uh, we're going to draw in this new sketchbook. It was given to me by Robin from my birthday. Uh, we've got some really, really nice sketchbooks at the school. Robin's amazing. She knows how to buy art supplies. So if you're interested, uh, let us know. Um, but this is kind of cool. This is Fabiano. Fabiano, it's a nice paper, and it's, it actually comes from a town named by them in 1264. And uh, I kind of remember back then. It was a, little, that was a while ago, but um, I know I was out of high school. So um, it's a good paper. It feels good. I already started getting a little mushy on there. I'm going to use Pan Pastel for the lay-in. So I got brown, green, blue, and this is uh, in Amsterdam. We actually went on a vacation. It's amazing. And uh, when you own a school, you don't go on a lot of vacations. When you own a school, you don't travel the world. When you own a school, you're there for the kids. So, and, uh, you know, they can come and go, but you've got to be there for them. So there we go. Okay, so we're down here looking up. So everything is going to go uh, down this way. Three-point perspective, yes. Anytime you're not looking directly at the item, and I'm looking directly at you, there's my horizon line. If I look up, it's three-point. But you don't have to make it extreme, okay? Or in this case, it looks pretty, pretty straight to me. So... Just find your, uh, you know, your verticals and go like that. He's a light source, as we found out with that poor woman on the airplane. It's, uh, if it's overcast, you're not going to have shadows, but I want shadows. So let's have the light go this way. So that's a warm side. You're sketching. In the background, we have this other church. We have this church here. Remember, we're sketching. Sketching is different than sitting down and, and doing that masterpiece. Uh, what you're going to find when you reach professional level is you don't really sit down to do a masterpiece you sit down to do as, as close of a competent drawing as you can um if you have time you can do it again and again but pretty much it's uh the masterpieces either come from doing it over and over and over again or you get that accident because the a masterpiece has to be spontaneous it has to be fresh can't be beat up And a lot of times clients, you know, they make you do it again and again, they change and change and change. And uh, it just beats the hell out of you. It loses that spontaneity. So a sketch should be spontaneous. It should have that nice, fresh feel. Let's see, I'm doing a land. Here we go. It's kind of fun. I'm just using the pastel. Light's coming. What I say is coming this way, but we're going to change it. I'm going to make it go this way again because I want this to cast a shadow. So we'll go like that. So I just change the light. Because it's a sketch. So this will be a shadow here. Light's going to come here. So we go Rembrandt lighting light. Here we go light, dark, light, dark. And get some warm. This would be the same if you're painting. Now this is off of the distance. I don't want to have that too warm. It should be all kind of blue. Okay. 
have an eraser to pick out my lives. Put this over here. Okay, we good? Uh, the way to learn perspective, just buy a book. There's different perspective for every person. Let me see if my head gets in the way. No, it doesn't. Wow, I can go all the way over here. Find a place to start. I'll start right here. This is your line that's closest to you. Then we go there. In uh, the perspective class at our school, because most of the kids are just about to get their license, I teach them how to get their license. And uh, the way to do it so that you can get in and out fast is when you're driving down the street, every time you get to a corner, you know, and that'll be the corner of a building or a corner of a street. You yell out at the top of your lungs, safety, stop, look right, look left, proceed. And then you get to the next one. You'll scare the hell out of the person who's taking, you know, doing the test. And then you get to the next one and the guy will calm down. The lady will calm down by that. And you get to the next corner and you yell out at the top of your lungs, safety, stop, look right, look left, proceed. I'll tell you, you will, they will give you a good grade just to get you out of the car, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're going to find the first corner, which is right here. Safety, stop. Okay, and there we go. So now we'll find the corner here. We'll go up here. So safety, stop. Boom, right there. It's got kind of a box shape. And you just sketch. Just know every line is going to go this way. It's going to go that way. Um, a good, you know, kind of a rule of thumb, you know, something you can play with. Just like with the faces where you have your hieroglyphic where you can draw, you, know, you draw one face in any position. Um, when you're doing, uh, you know, perspective, just be able to draw one window one door one just be able to draw one and then what you do is you then you change it to be what you're uh drawing so this is a corner of the thing i mean one of these um what do you call it like a rail or something architecture and then we'll go here. Box shape. You're just dealing with three shapes. Box shape. The side goes that way. Safety, stop, look right, look left, proceed. And that comes down to the same thing. So I'll parallel this. There we go. This will be the last videos with just this mic. Corey had us get professional. Ooh, looks pretty fancy. So we'll set that up in the next couple hours. And then we'll start doing the, uh, the other videos. So just to make sure you guys are reminded, um, the videos are divided up into two different categories. We have the narrative ones, and that's the one I'm standing up. Some of them I'll be sitting here. And those are um, true stories that never happened. So basically, they're just full of shit. And uh, they're designed so that you can learn complex information pretty simply to remember the stories. And uh, but they're they're really full of it. It was just a joke. Okay, it's going to go this way. But it takes a long time to figure those out. You know, you got to watch a lot of movies. I like to binge watch Robin Williams. It's my hero. So if I'm going to do one of those, chances are I've watched a lot of that. Jonathan Winters, 
any of my heroes. Yeah, this one, this one. And then when we sit down, then it's more, you know, drawing in my studio and it's kind of, you know, it's me. I had a student once in my classroom and he goes, Sheldon, we want to know who you really are. We want to know the real Sheldon, who really are. And I looked at him and I said, am I in one of your therapy sessions right now? It was really funny. He was, you know, kind of the beginning of the, the crazy. I said, I don't need to have a little therapy session with you. So gave him a few choice four little words. It was like, I don't, no, 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 we're fine. This is a, it would be like stopping a play and saying, actor on the stage in Les Miserables, who are you really? I'm an actor. I'm doing a play. So um, when we sit down here, you know, we're doing these drawings. You're in my studio, so kind of boring. Uh, when I taught at Brandis, I forget the guy's name, but there was a uh, illustrator teaching there. He was kind of on the level of Norman Rockwell. He was really famous, and uh, he was. I forget his name, really famous guy. We were pretty friendly back then. And then I was, years later, I was in one of the old art supply stores. I think it was uh, the one across from Hanna-Barbera. And I saw him, I said, man, how you doing? And he goes, hey, it's great, he's working, he's working a lot. He said the most exciting part of his day was when the mail came, you know. Um, probably the most exciting part of my day is when I, talk to Corey or uh, Dave Master. That's pretty much about it. And we talked to too many other people. Pretty reclusive. And then when I leave to go to school, I like going to school and seeing the kids. And that's the normal day. Um, if I'm doing a rendering, okay, I'm doing a rendering uh, where I'm just, you know, blindly just drawing. I've already got it all concept out and everything. I'll put on a movie. Um, usually have the news going in the background. It says white noise. Um, music. Got three different stereos in here. I'm put on music. But uh, usually don't talk. So I'm just looking at shapes, three shapes, sphere, box, cylinder, and cone. Just know that all the lines go this way. They don't go like this, or they go like this. Here, look at the pen. It's real simple. Uh, line quality will play a big role. So this is growing out, it's going this way. You go like that and find the center. So the way you learn perspective is just buy a book. And there's different books for different, your different areas, like if you're a a painter, I have perspective for painters. I have perspective for comic book artists. I have uh, extremely, I didn't buy them, they're given to me, but like mathematical perspective. Ooh, we'll use the M word. Okay, so this is going to go this way, this way. So we go here. Now. Um, if you're doing your perspective in Maya, you got to make sure you have your aspect ratio correct. I just call my students. That's where Ryan comes in. Ryan, I need your help. Ryan is a, fan, a phenomenal human being. He's 
who was the quiet kid in the classroom who became the closest friend I have in my life and uh, and my mentor. But I used to look at him in the classroom. He used to scare me. He was so quiet. And we, he's like family. My family loves him. Okay. And uh, his wife, Eunice, who was my TA. You never know. Okay, so here we go. Here. So now we're going to go like that. Work my way down. So I'm like, I'm about right here. If you guys can see it. So now I'll get over to here. And work my way down here. Okay. So I'll call Corey, Corey's family. And he was a student in the classroom. Corey was never quiet. And now they're literally family. I mean, they're like the closest family I have. You know, minus my the family I made. Okay, so there's that. Try to map it. So now we have a box shape. And a triangle. Half of a circle. Remember, we're sketching. Should be probably close to like your urban sketcher. Uh, come down here. Dark, dark, dark. Then these things are on a diagonal, so we're like that. And look at the negative space. So we're looking at the negative space between this line and this line. So technically speaking, it'd be the negative space from your diagonal to your vertical, right there. If you want, you can just go ahead and draw that shape. These pens, I got at Graphades. Graphades is in Los Angeles and in here in Agora Hills. Uh, you can find them online. Just call over and tell them that you're from these videos and you get a good discount. You can also call our school and get our supplies too. If you call the school, then I'll stand behind the art supply because I approve all of our supplies at the school. I can't. You, know, you can call the school and ask questions about our supplies. Safety, stop, look right, look left, proceed. Then this goes up and then this way, and that's where the other one will be, the other window. Oop, safety, stop, look right, there it is. You go like this, they'll give you the center. I was on the beach and this girl, she was attractive. And she was wearing a white bikini. And I noticed that her butt crack was in the wrong place. Her butt crack was just, it wasn't in the center. So I said, excuse me, um, I hope you don't take this personal, but your butt crack's in the wrong spot. She was shocked. Was, Who are you to say that? I said, well, I'm an artist and a professional. I do this for a living. So I said, well, if you don't mind, I had a Sharpie pen and I went and I 
took my pen, I went from her iliac crest down to the uh, lateral aspect of her gluteal band on either side, and I drew a line. She, her boyfriend was like really mad. He goes, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do that to my girlfriend. I said, Sarah, looking at you, you're next. And uh, I drew it, and then when I drew the line straight down, so I went from you know, like, you know, anterior, you know, posterior iliac crest to the lateral aspect of her gluteal band, and then I went the opposite direction. And then when I drew the line, she noticed that her butt crack really was in the wrong spot. And I, I laughed. She goes, what are you going to do about it? I go, nothing. It was your butt crack. It was just driving me crazy, you know, because, you know, I kind of like to have, you know, I have to look at you know, butt cracks in the right spot. I just laughed. You know, boyfriend wasn't happy. They were calling the police. Uh, the... um Crossing guards, you know, those guys with the red things, you know, the crossing guards as they go that way. Uh, yeah, lifeguards, yeah, those guys. Um, you know, they were getting a little unhappy. And, you know, but So if you want to get the butt crack of the building in the right spot, just go line, line, and there you go, right there in the center. So line, 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 right there. So, so buildings have butt cracks, I guess. So that's a true story that never happened. And, um, I'm going to come down here, but uh, I guess I should have asked her a question, but I didn't have time, but I could have asked her a question, but I didn't have time. So Sheldon, you're 64 years old and you still haven't uh, matured out on the jokes yet. No, not yet. Still. Poo poo jokes. Okay, so we're going here, right here, and then we have this line from the roof going down like that. This is off in the distance. What if I just use the uh, value? This one here, and we have this little curve. I'm going to have to adjust this because I made it too. I changed the building a bit. Should I ask the building's permission to change it? No. But what if they get upset? No. I'm already home. Let me go. There's certain parts of Amsterdam where you don't want to pull out your phone and take a picture, and I did, and I got chased by a what well, appeared to be a very nice young lady. Um, my wife said, run! I was just taking a picture of the street. So, Amsterdam's an interesting place. Okay, so now I'm going to make it less detail as it goes up. So I guess there's some rules. Um, if you're on the beach and see a woman and her butt cracks in the wrong spot, you're better off leaving it to yourself, you know, and just say, okay, I saw a woman with her butt crack in the wrong spot. And if you're in Amsterdam and you just make sure you know what street you're taking the picture of because it could get you chased. Go. So it gets pretty light up there. More detail down here. More detail down here. Then back here, um, this will be mostly super light.
then take an eraser. You know, we said the light was coming this way, remember? So we'll do some shadow like this. This is real thick. Use this for accent. This one's in between. So this is called atmospheric perspective. So you're pushing it way back.
people ask me, you know, when I'm touching the pen like this, what am I doing? I'm hitting landmarks. So in this case, it's perspective. So like this is off. So I'll bring this up. So like in figure drawing, you're hitting the uh, landmarks. Let's see what's some reflected light. Okay, it's just a perspective sketch. Okay, we'll have some fun with it. Um, do we want to put some blue in the background? You want to try it? Let's try some. Kind of fun. Okay, let's move on to do some other drawing.